Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I edit my cosplay photos in Paint Tool Side. So, I'm just going to open a couple of photos that I already edited before. I got these taken at SakuraCon! Oh, so much fun! Okay, so obviously as you can see, my cosplay was Hatsune Miku. I love her so much! So this is before I edited it, and this is after. Before. After! So you can see there's a lot of difference in the wig and the jacket. Um, I also did minor stuff in the shoes and color smoothing. So here's another one before. After! Before. After! Yes. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to edit another cosplay photo. which will be this one, right here, Woo. Yeah! So I'm just gonna go open Paint Tool Side now. I use Paint Tool Side because, well, I'm more familiar with it, and I haven't exactly learned Photoshop all the way yet. So, Paint Tool Side is really user-friendly. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is smooth out the skin. There are a couple of blemishes. So I'm just going to take a color that's right next to the blemish and using the airbrush tool, I'm just going to smooth it out. Okay, so right here you can see that the blush is kind of uneven, so just taking a color right next to the cheek, I'm going to blend it out with the airbrush tool. So now that that's done, I'm going to work on the makeup and eyes. So right here you can see there is an eyelash problem started coming off. But right now I'm going to work on the whites of the eyes using the eyedropper tool to pick a color. You don't want to use white because it will look fake. So just take a color that's really light in the eye and start blending out with the airbrush tool. that we have not veiny eyes, we are going to work on these eyelashes. So just taking a color from inside the eyelash, I'm going to thicken the lash line using the airbrush tool. What else? And now I'm going to start drawing on lashes. So the makeup on my lower lash line was turquoise, but it really didn't show up in the photo. So using the airbrush tool and selecting a color from the wig, I'm going to color on the lower lash line with the airbrush tool. going to touch up the makeup in the inner corners of the eyes but while I was doing that I found this weird shadow here so I'm just gonna take a color near it and just smooth it out
So now that that's smooth, I'm going to work on the inner corner eyeshadow. I'm going to use a really light turquoise and using the airbrush tool, just blend it in. Okay, now look here. Before. After! Yes, it looks so much better now. <laughs> now I'm going to work on the lips. I'm not going to edit this much because they look pretty good, but I'm just going to smooth out the color and blend in any indents and stuff unwanted there. Yes! Okay, now these eyebrows are looking very un-turquoise. I mean, I colored them turquoise, but they rubbed off. So, just taking color from the wig, I'm going to use the airbrush tool and smooth in this color in the brows. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're looking very turquoise. Now we're going to work on the wig. This is a very complex and tedious process. I used a big word! Okay, so our goal is to make the wig look less stringy. So taking a light color that's near this really dark indent, I'm just going to fill it in with the airbrush tool. We want to make it look pretty natural, though that's going to be kind of hard to do. But, so you're going to want to take your time and be really careful with this. That took a long time. Okay. Before, after. Before, after. Yes, I think it looks so much better, way smoother. And now we're going to zoom in and work on the eyes. So my circle lenses aren't as turquoise as I wanted them to be. So just taking the color from the wig, I'm going to use the airbrush tool just to make it look a little more turquoise. Okay, zooming out, and I'm going to turn down the opacity because they're like really bright. So turning it down. Before. After! Ok, 
Okay, now we're gonna work on the jacket. So the jacket came a little more brown tinted than I wanted, so I'm just gonna take this gray color and using the pen tool, just color all over where the jacket is exposed. We don't have to be neat with this, cause we'll fix it up later. So you can be lazy with this. Yes. Now zooming out and turning down the opacity to about 33%. Okay. So we're almost done. I'm just going to fix up the edges and we'll be done. Woo! I'm done! This is how I edit my cosplay photos in Paint Tool Sci. This results in a smoother looking wig, more vibrant eyes, perfect skin, and a vest that actually turns out the color that I want it to be. <laughs> Hope you guys had fun watching! Bye!